What's up, Totally Inspired community? Welcome to another episode of Totally Inspired with me, your girl, Sibo Dube. The untimely passing of renowned South African actor Patrick Shai has not only left a huge gap in the film and entertainment industry, but the anti-gender-based violence activism community as well. A self-confessed but reformed perpetrator of domestic violence, Patrick Shai took action to address the issue of abuse, rape and killings of women in South Africa. Today we mourn his passing as there is one less voice advocating for behavior change amongst perpetrators of gender-based violence. Before we go ahead, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and give me a huge thumbs up. Patrick Shai took the decision to change after being cast as an abuser in the popular South African drama series Soul City back in 1997. According to his wife, Masichaba Shai, her husband saw himself in the character and went for counseling. When he spoke to his wife about his willingness to change, she pledged her support for him. In time, he also started giving motivational speeches about abuse. Speaking at the Brothers for Life campaign, Brothers Against Violence back in 2010, Shai told the audience that the impact of his actions became clear as he shot the domestic violence scene for the TV drama series. Suddenly, he was no longer on the set but in his own home and abusing his own family. He said, open quote, For the first time I saw the pain I was dishing out to my wife. For the first time I had the pleas of my son and I saw the pain on the face of my wife. I knew then that I needed to change, close quote. Shai said against all popular beliefs that men cannot change, there are many Patrick Shires out there who do what he used to do that could change if given the chance to do so. Shai took his journey to reform a step further and established a men's social movement called Kulumandota in 2005. The organization was a behavior change initiative offering social wellness programs designed to empower men in the fight against gender violence, domestic violence and femicide. Through this organization, Shai worked alongside Parliament's National Men's Parliament Initiative, bringing together men across the country, tackling gender-based violence, femicide and other social issues. His main aim was to create a movement to mobilize men and boys to learn to resolve problems without violence and to respect and protect women and children. Masichaba Shai married Patrick when she was 17 years old and stayed with him till the end. At the time of his passing, she was grateful to God that her husband was a changed man and was once again the man she fell in love with in her younger days. The veteran actor was born in Dobsonville, Soweto on 9 December 1956 and died at the age of 65 on 22 January 2022. His career spanned more than 30 years. He acted in productions including Hearts and Minds, Seven Dillon and Soul City. This is indeed a great loss to the country and the Shai family. Losing a loved one and a husband could never be an easy experience. We send our love and condolences to me, Masichaba and the Shai family. Our prayers and thoughts are with you during this time of loss and pain. Patrick Shai was proof that abusers can turn a new leaf. Do you think this is a rare case or all abusers can change if they choose to? Comment down below and please remember to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, keep inspiring.